computer science. It used to be the ugly kid with the braces that no one wanted to have anything to do with, but in the last few years, it transformed to this really hot girl or guy that everyone wants to get to know. And if you're watching this video, maybe you do too. So should you study computer science? Let me tell you my opinion as someone who did a computer science degree at UCL. Many people misunderstand what computer science really is. Some people think it's playing video games, or it's just programming, or you learn to fix computers. Many people think this. You learn to turn things on and off. I didn't know. Computer science at its core is very theoretical and math based. It goes all the way back even before the first computer was created. I think a good way to explain it is that a lot of the things you learn are more about computation than actual computers. And in order to learn these foundations, you have some modules like logic or computational complexity, which seem very confusing and unappealing at first, but by the end, and after you understand it, you can see how it's useful to make you a better computer scientist. Aside from logic and complexity, when you're studying computer science, you also do some discrete math, some algorithms, some graph theory. And in order to learn a lot of this in practice, you end up having to learn to program. But you have to think of programming as a tool inside the degree, which you end up using a lot, instead of just the whole degree being programming. That's not the case. So I don't know what your conception of how difficult the degree is, but from my experience and from people I've talked to, I would say it's not an easy degree. It takes a lot of effort and time. It's not the hardest degree in the world, obviously but don't expect it to be an easy ride you're gonna work pretty hard because what i expected when i went to university was not the case hey guys hey what's up how's dude? it going man? i am so excited to start uni with you guys it's gonna be so much fun we're gonna go out make new friends get drunk go to parties get delayed all the time it's gonna be amazing This doesn't make any sense. Hey man, uh, we're gonna go clubbing with the others. You wanna come with us? Sorry man, I have a lot of work to do. Maybe next week? Yeah, sure, no worries man. See you later, bye. I'm finally done, but what did it cost? Everything. Just kidding, I'm exaggerating a bit. I did end up doing some of those things. But I do think I went out quite a bit less than a lot of my other friends who were doing easier degrees with less coursework. Now, I know some people are gonna say all degrees are equally difficult just in different ways. That's stupid. Of course, not all degrees are equally difficult. You can't compare something like gender studies to studying mathematics. If you think that's the same difficulty, you're probably doing the first one. A nice thing about doing a computer science degree is that it gives you a unique way to think and understand the problem in order to solve it. And you can really see that when you end up working with people from different backgrounds, like electrical engineering or mathematics. When you're all working on the same problem, you see how different people from different backgrounds think in different ways. And every person, depending on what they studied, gives a different perspective. So it's quite useful to have that different way of thought as a computer scientist. One thing I didn't like about the degree is that you have a lot of seemingly irrelevant modules. The people who make those modules claim they're important. After I finished my degree, I still don't see why they were important. I, th I thought it was a waste of time. We had a module like integrated engineering where you team up with other people from different backgrounds to work on a project. But the project is like a high school level project. It's just like a stupid proof of concept that doesn't really make any sense or is helpful in any way. For example, they gave us this task of like doing some study and trying to come up with an idea for renewable energy in some country. I'm sure all the big engineers are using our PowerPoint slides to do that right now. So yeah, you do end up doing those wasteful modules, but there are not that many. So you just have to like grind through 
through them and focus on the more important modules to learn for your degree. A really big reason to study computer science is the career opportunities you have after you finish. You can become a software developer, a data scientist, an AI or ML researcher, a security guy, not in like clubs as a bouncer, but I guess you can do that if you've been to the gym while doing computer science. You can be a researcher, a consultant in many different industries, big tech companies, finance, startups. Basically, you can fit in pretty much everywhere as a computer scientist. A lot of people want to hire one. So there's high demand and usually the salaries are higher as well. I doubt you're going to struggle to survive if you have a computer science degree. You're going to find a decent job somewhere. Unless you spend your whole time at university smoking weed and partying, I don't know. And you didn't learn anything in the end. Also, because of how flexible the degree is and how big of a field computer science is, you can pretty much go any direction you want. If you don't like one area of computer science, you can just switch to another one. And if you have that core foundational knowledge, you're going to be fine with whatever you choose. Now, a lot of people think that computer science is becoming way too common and it's going to become obsolete soon. That is definitely not the case. There's still so much demand and it increases every single day. We're moving more and more into tech as time progresses. So I don't see why we would need less computer scientists in the end than before. So generally, in my maybe biased opinion, it's one of the best and most flexible degrees for someone to do. It is strongly quantitative, so expect to work and think hard to get good grades. But it's also general enough to be applied in different areas and in high demand to be able to find a job relatively easily to other degrees. Now I want to talk about some common misconceptions people have about computer science. One thing is people think the degree is only for guys, there's no girls in the class. I was kind of worried about that too when I started. The truth is there are quite a few girls in the class. The biggest percentage is still mostly guys, but there are girls, it's not going to be a huge sausage feast. But definitely the ratios are more skewed toward guys compared to other degrees. Another misconception is that you already need to know how to program. That is not the case. When I began, I kind of knew how to program and I met some other guys who were like much better than me some guys who knew nothing. By the end of the degree, you're pretty much all around the same page, so you shouldn't really worry about that. It might take you a bit more time to learn the basics than the other guy who already knows them. You're gonna be fine. Another one I mentioned before, that people think it's all about programming. That's not the case. You usually use programming to reinforce the theory you've learned in the form of exercises, but also to do projects and of course to learn how to code. Another misconception is that you learn how to fix computers. That is not the case. You don't learn how to fix computers. We don't do that in the degree. But usually because you learn how to Google very well and because you're on the computer all day and you get issues which you Google to fix, people who do computer science, yeah, they might know how to fix a computer better than some other guy, but this is not what we do. We just have to do it sometimes to keep on with our work. And never ask someone who did computer science or is a programmer or whatever to fix your computer. People get really annoyed with that shit. It's like asking someone who did electrical engineering to change your light bulb or something. So should you study computer science? If you like solving problems, you like quantitative fields, and you like programming, or are at least intrigued by it, I would say go for it. It's gonna be a really good choice of degree. If you prefer a more artsy or social job, and you don't like working with a computer a lot, you can't spend a lot of time in front of the computer, and you don't like math at all, you don't like to solve any of those problems, I would say no, don't do it. It might be a good degree for a career, but if you really hate doing that, you're gonna have a miserable time at uni, so just stay clear of it. In my experience, I was good at it, and I did kinda like it, but computer science wasn't really my first choice when I went to university. I actually wanted to be a filmmaker, but I wasn't willing to take the risk of studying film and then not having a job or having to go through all the shit filmmakers go through to get a good job. Though I really respect the people who go through with that. But I'm glad I went with computer science at the end because I did genuinely enjoy it. I have gotten a very high in demand skill set, and using that I can find a job that will pay for my other hobbies like filmmaking or playing guitar. And that money maybe I wouldn't be getting so easily if I went through the more artistic route. So I would say you have to sit down and think deeply of what you want to do with your life before you do the degree, what kind of lifestyle you want to have. Write down the pros and cons and see if it's the right degree for you. For some people, I know it's definitely not a good choice because they just don't like the nature of the degree. But at the end of the day, it's a very strong degree and you're going to have a promising career if you go through with it. So it's a yes from me. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button below. Click on notifications to be updated when I release a new video. Did you study or are you considering studying computer science in the near future? Let me know below in the comments and if you have any questions related to computer science please again post it in the comments and i will get back to you giving you the best answer i can if you need any help with that i know i had a lot of questions and it was very useful to have someone who could answer them to me so if i can be that person why not that's it for this video guys i will see you next time take care